Okay, back on Fury with more Cruiserweight Classic action. We have uh, TJP, who is, he's not dabbing, but he is, um, he won the actual tournament. Surprisingly. He was a bit of an underdog, but he did it. He was also, like, former X Division champion. I see. Like, m most of the champions in WWE are former <laughs> champions for TNA. Just now, for some reason, just interesting. But let's, uh, let's get his opponent out. It's that, it's that Scottish guy from, um, Israel or something. There's a uh, yeah, his multiple nationality syndrome. But yes, yeah, here he comes. Noam Dar or Noam Dar. His name is Dar. Dar. It says that in his jacket. Uh -huh. uh, Andrew is being Noam and I am being TJ. So every time it vibrates, like when you're doing your entrance, and I don't know why. Oh. That doesn't happen in the Cruiserweight tournament. That was messy and horrifying. <laughs> you just had to get the match started. The Cruiserweight tournament is supposed to be about respect, Andrew. This is respect to my victory. Okay. I think we've just turned Noam Dar heel. <laughs> what? You lay down? <laughs> oh my god. No, <laughs> what oh. happened? You just lay down? <laughs> Also, you're a bit warm for this, are you not? <laughs> Does he wear that the whole time? Like, um, <laughs> Liv Morgan wears her hat? Yes. Wow. Oh. Yep, there we go. It's going to evaporate now. Yep. You didn't even get up, you just somehow take your jacket off. The special man. He was also the youngest competitor in the Cruiserweight tournament. At like 22 or something. Ah. Oh, well, I don't expect this to take so long. Kick. And... Arm drag! TJP beating up the special man. No, the special man showing something special. Oh, big end's a good attempt. Failed. Failed, failed, failed. Reason Dar is best Dar. Oh, I don't know, any other Dars. <laughs> Darlick. It's Dalek. Um, Dar Wars. Uh, <laughs> yes. Boom. Just a kick. Dar Vader, I think. And, uh, Dar, Dar Vader. Dar Vader, yes. Dar Dar. <laughs> Dar Dar. <laughs> That'd be fantastic. TJP working the arms. Really, he should work on the legs. I'll try work the legs, but he keeps doing this. <laughs> That's a great move. TJP Perkins was the flag of the Philippines. It's because he's from the Philippines. On, on his legs. But it's like the hardest flag to put on. Oh, that was nasty. Put on trousers, so it just looks really weird. It's very jazzy. It's very jazzy. Yes. There's like sun. Big kick. Please, roll no door. Has he got it? He's got it. He's going for it. He's going for it. He's going what for it. Earth. Knee bar. Oh. No door and a knee bar. Rope break. Rope. 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 Get the ropes, no. Thank oh, God. He gets out of it. Because I couldn't work the legs. Gnome always wins. That was a bad move, Gnome. No arm. Oh. You just punched me, you're not going to keep me down that long. Here we go. This is what we want. <coughs> Your legs are yellow. You get yellow legs, you be dick. Oh no. Talking about I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Talking a language you'll understand. TJP. Boom. Oh. Mm. <laughs> you like your running strikes, don't you? Oh. I don't even throw straight there, <laughs> just run into I was hoping to strike. You always go for the same running strikes and it's 
I mean, yeah, 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 That was that was phenomenal. It wasn't quite. It wasn't AJ. It was not AJ. Oh, oh he, no! Did AJ is phenom phenomenal? Oh, oh my! I always forget what colour I'm. Yeah, it takes six to realise. Mm, yeah, it's gonna be horrendous when they need matches as TJP. What if he has another finisher? I assume. Big like fisherman suplex. It's like John Cena. Nomdar has a finisher. <laughs> yes. Did Nomdar get a finisher? He's done nothing to TGP. Ah, uh, he's just to give it to you, that's why. Also, comeback. Nomdar has a comeback? I think so, yeah. Oh, he did. I would say. Yes, see. Yes. Come here. Oh, I'm sat on top of No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You should dab. That's what TJP does, he dabs. He dabs. It seems to be his entire gimmick, that and the fact that he's a video game character. He, <laughs> wa he was a video game character, he played Suicide in TNA, who oh. was the protagonist of their video game. <laughs> oh, it's Jesus. <laughs> Ref, well, please. Uh, mistakes were made. <laughs> mistakes were made. <laughs> The resiliency of Gnome Darbo, this is the third time he's been in this knee bar. No ref, don't count. Don't don't do anything ref, please. No, that, that was so close though. I don't think you'll be able to survive another now you have red legs. Oh, straight to the calf, the shin of TJP. <laughs> Come on TJ. Senor Perkins. Boom. Oh dear. You should put my tag team with Rhino. <laughs> I think that would be comical. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We need to think of a name for them though. <laughs> of course. Oh. Yes. I can see that's advantageous to you. Just roll to that side. It's too busy making jokes. Get the tables. JBL has glued his table down. Um, you need an ability to deal with that. Oh, that is too sneaky for me. I couldn't move there. On the stairs. Oh, oh, my hat goes flying. Oh. On the table, no more. No, we can't have a draw. We have a draw. And both guys go out. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the person who wins the next match gets a bye into the semi-final <laughs> or the final even. Yeah, that would be a gift. No TGP has a comeback. Uh, no. So we're facing the wrong way. This is the other finisher of TJP. <laughs> okay. I might be gnomed. He might be gnomed. He <laughs> might be gnomed. <laughs> You've been turked. TJP advances to the semi finals. But uh, Gnome Dar did show a. <laughs> <laughs> a, wind, uh, a wide range of. Um, Viciousness. Yes. I thought that was a dog. <laughs> He's kicking that hat about, JBL won't be happy. <laughs> when he gets off commentary, it's going to be John O'Clock. Of course. Yes, TJP celebrating. But ne the, next, the next match is the semi finals. The next match is the last match of the quarter finals, is it? No, no, the next match is the last match of the quarter finals, and then the last is the semi finals. Kota Ibushi, he's not just some guy, he's a Japanese John Cena. I see. We'll see you then. <laughs> okay, here we go.
the final match in the first round. Oh. It's not called. <laughs> <laughs> it isn't. It's don't, don't, don't go to the toilet just yet. Th- this is the match of the first round as well. This is the match. Uh, yeah. Senor Ricochet. I don't know if he is. Latin. Oh. Um. The camera is in the sign. Like the Titan Tron. He's got a little joke to me. He's also very shiny. <laughs> he's, he's so yeah, shiny. Sure. This could be a generic entrance. He may have no moveset or anything. Or DDT6. I don't know. Haven't haven't proofed him. That is very cruiserweight though. Very flippy, flippy floppy. I've heard that he's good. Never seen him, so we'll allow him in the tournament. Mm-hmm. But this man, I don't know, is very good. <laughs> oh, excellent. This man is absolutely the favourite to win the whole thing. Kota Ibushi. He was a Power Ranger, right? Possibly. Just like he was the favourite to win the whole real thing, but get put out with DJP in the semi finals. Ah. So. And the biggest upset of the tournament, but let's get cracking. Yes. Again, he'll face DJP in the semi finals if he gets by Ricochet. Nope. Oh. Clumsy Ricochet. Go to a bushy, will kick your head off. Ricochet has three reversals. <laughs> Flip her off it. If you don't get moves in, you don't need reversals. Look how much damage that did. Yeah. <laughs> Kota Bushi is winning this tournament, damage retention or not. Yeah, the damage retention might be a pretty much a part of it though. Because the same thing could be brutal as well. <laughs> Everybody's already been totally hammered though. Yeah. Especially Zack Taylor Jr. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason got pedigreed at the end of the match. Not like this. Right, okay. Boom. Boom. He's working the legs. Senor Kota. I don't actually know the uh, Japanese word for mister. Um. Um. Uh, I'm not sure. Sensei. Mm, yes. Of course. Sensei. There's so many fantastic Jeez, Japanese stars in Countess Cruiserweights just because the Japs are so much smaller than everyone else. <laughs> it's true. They built a Disneyland in Japan, but they had to give it up because nobody was tall enough to get in any of the rides. Ha ha ha. True Japan. But they put Pokemon though. They do have Pokemon. And, and trains mm. that go fast. That was DDT6. What have you, you done, Kota, to Ricochet? It worries me that DDT6 will be finished. Do you think Ricochet can bounce back? Oh, that's brilliant. I did not try to go for my finisher there, I tried to kick you, but it, because it did the wake up, it went into the finisher anyway. <laughs> Splat. <laughs> I think Kota that's might have been still, yeah. playing possum there. Let me see if Kota has a moveset. Let's check this. In maybe Simone. You could do. I don't know. I'd need to look up who's actual finisher. Shooting star press. He definitely has. That's too tall. That's the top rope move. His finisher. Yes. Ricochet might be better to go forward because I don't know if Kota Bushi. Look how much damage I've done though. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like he's not even a moveset, but he's, he does a lot of damage and doesn't take a lot. <laughs> he does the John Cena damage. I think if he gets signed, he's going to get uh, a new car with a moveset. <laughs> well, this could be his moveset, he could do a DDT6. I don't know. I don't watch NJPW. Very, very. Basically, Japanese. Japan is prophetic human cloning and clone Johnson. <laughs> Into a Japanese man. Yes. 
He's just they've just taken the the powers of John Cena. <laughs> This could be jazzy, or it could it's be the generic Jazzy just thing. Yeah, it's just bringing Japanese strong style over, so it makes yeah. sense. For Rikishu, this is probably the hardest guy to face. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't make you look good. He is absolutely the hardest guy to face. Um, TJP may have an uphill struggle <laughs> if damage retention. The resiliency. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, resiliency. He's not going to go up those stones for a while. Kota Bushi is overpowered. A little bit. Yeah. Oh. That should have been a kick if it had been Kota Bushi and it was strong strike. Oh, does it even the range there? You wonder really what his stats are at Kota. What is Ricochet's signature? I mean, you saw it a minute ago. What the bus says. Yeah, yeah, I remember. It was a fireman's carry. I didn't kick. even use the signature, so. Somehow you've, like, um. Uh, I mean. You've it, not even got me out of the Yeah, green so it's, yet. it's just like, it, it didn't really seem like it was a signature at all. Basically, no soul. Kota getting ready in the corner. I don't know how I feel about this Ibushi car. Yep, and this could be the end of Ricochet. Yep, unless you can pull off a miracle <laughs> and come back for this. No. Yep, Kota Ibushi doesn't even get into yellow health. Kota no. Ibushi advances to the semi finals no. in tip top shape. I think he might be slightly overpowered. You can dominate your cruiserweight division. Yeah. You can dominate any division you put in. Honestly. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know how good Ricochet is. Because that, that is not really... Mm, it is not reflective. <laughs> yeah. You didn't get to get jumping about. But that is the end of the first round. Nice yeah. event in the semi-finals. And then comes Zack Sabre Jr. versus... Um, yeah, Rich Swan. Yeah. And we will see you there.